punch is making a comeback for the holidays. Yeah, and for a number of reasons. Not only because it's easy to make, but it's also economical, which makes it the perfect alternative to a lot of those expensive drinks. Ray Isle, deputy wine editor for Food and Wine magazine, good friend of ours as well. Oh, yeah. Glad to be back. Thank you for having me. So you have it's, some great recipes for yeah, punch. And we were talking recipes. in the break. I noticed um, punch bowls popping up more on, on wedding registries. It's sort of a retro thing. It these is days. a retro thing. It's it's punches back in. Um, and it was, you know, it was in in the 1700s and now it's back. It's good, you know, a little 300 year hiatus. Everything 1700 <laughs> is new again. But Everything uh, makes a comeback this, after yeah, 300 years. This is, and it's great. It's great for holiday entertaining. You. It, I mean, for one thing, as the host, you don't have to spend all your time pouring, refilling yeah. everybody's glasses. Right. This is a great punch. This is called Philly Fish House Punch. Okay. And it's got a catchy name. It's got a catchy name. doesn't involve fish. As you no say, fish sounds in the terrible. Because otherwise, I'm not sounds. drinking it. You're mixing. I'm mixing. What am I mixing? <laughs> You're mixing three um, jiggers of, full, of rum. Rum. Um, it says about six it, ounces. Where am I? I'm putting it in and here. Just dump it in there. Okay. Yeah. Or, and we'll dump it all together. Okay, so we've got the rum. Yeah. Then... Two of the brandy. Okay. It's, it's a light. It's a light. You notice I'm this sounds like the Erica's alcohol. lunch. Chris, no, it's I'm handling because Chris can't be trusted. Did you say two or three of these? Uh, two of those. I haven't had any. <laughs> Want to make that clear? Yeah, you're right. Okay. And, uh, and one some of peach, peach schnapps. Okay, little peach schnapps. So a three, two, one there. It's a three, two, one classic cocktail thing. Okay, grab the sugar over there. Got a little sugar into the into the pitcher. Confectioner sugar. Confectioner sugar yeah. in this case. Okay. Um, there we go. And then black tea. Ah. Which is um, so this is kind of like the original Red Bull does this mean and vodka. It has antioxidants or something. Um, it? it does have antioxidants. <laughs> just, it's very just good what you're worried you. about after right. the, the, the third shot of the lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah. Then pour in our mixture. Um, All right. This is an old recipe from Philadelphia in the 1700s, and there's a little water in there. There's four ounces of water in there okay. too, and and then uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, nice. um, oh, sorry. And then no, lemon peel. I won't ever do the water no, you no, you've you guys diluted can try it. this. Okay. So it's, this um, is so give me an idea. How how economical is this? Well it's economical. I mean you do have to buy bottles of the liquor, but you're looking at just a little bit for a lot of servings. Um, so you know, per <laughs> serving it's really, it's really cheap. Now that tastes not that strong. It doesn't taste strong at all. Think? It tastes like iced yeah. tea almost. Well it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So Put we're going to move a little, down. little lighter kind of strong to me. A little lighter. Um, this is a classic brandy and wine punch. And I love this. This is great. Um, so... Again, hey, Erica, <laughs> Erica will be hey, in charge. This is a, a little, little disclaimer. Half, Over at AC360 yeah, Cash of, Bar, open bar here at CBS. First, first thing, <laughs> thing we gets do, a lot of I'll jump in here. Sugar, lemon juice. So you got to... Is this sort is are you going to find sugar, sugar lemon juice always in your punch are those you, your punches the almost base? always have a sweet a sour and a strong that's okay. a pretty standard cocktail thing and a cup and a half of amontillado sherry which gives it a nice sherry you know gives that's it a, a nice that's a 70s thing isn't it um yeah, it is a 70s thing i mean if we're going this retro is a punch thing. My, my mother, i know that's what i'm my saying my mother loves sherry that's really? like her quarter her cup of choice quarter cup of port okay and port too quarter cup of Cointreau. <laughs> That she doesn't love you right now. <laughs> a quarter cup of Cointreau. Okay. And then two bottles. Whoa. <laughs> two bottles of sparkling wine, um, which you got to love. I mean, it's just fun right. to do My this. My goodness, you we know. have enough alcohol in this thing. Well, you know, it, we got to serve a lot of people here. Um, just make sure that your guests are not driving home yes. afterwards. You so, definitely want to monitor them. And we say, and I say that. It actually, though, it is a wine punch, so it's not a strong. We're, that's going to spray. Hopefully, me, but, you have a better um, breakfast. But if it weren't spraying you, we would put we would put just soda this water is, in there as well. And we just and put soda water about, about a bottle of soda okay. water, and that's. I mean, it's a beautiful. It's actually fairly light. Mm. And it's and it it's spicy like, and tasty. I was going to say the yeah. spice really gives it a little bit so of a holiday feel. You, want, to it. you always want some fruit in there to be sort of. So fruit help. and fruits right. maybe. Too, I boy, imagine. the sherry and the port really comes up. All right, let's get okay. to the non-alcoholic non because only I'll is, listen yeah, to you, I mean, there's always going to be people who want non-alcoholic. This is a wonderful cinnamon citrus punch, yep. grapefruit juice, orange juice, um, grenadine, which is a pomegranate syrup. All the recipes for these are on our website. At food um, and wine, this is also nice for kids too to make them feel like they're having something special. In addition to adults who prefer something non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic, you really. It's like what is. This stuff. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> it hurts going down. Chris will be okay, I promise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. People think I have a problem. And this one, real quick, what do we have? Here? And this is a limoncello Collins punch. It's basically a version of a Tom Collins, you okay. know, classic drink, with, made with limoncello, which is an Italian sweet lemon liqueur. And it's light. It's fresh. It's um again packs a little bit of a punch, which is appropriate. But for a the punch. <laughs> but. It's Some a, great it's options Thanks again. for us here. Great. Go with the non-alcoholic one. Very good. Ray Isle, thank you. Thank and for party punch recipes, just log on to our website. The address is earlyshow.cbsnews.com. The alcohol police are here.